with me for a while now, my new word is yet. <laughs> yet. I'm not there yet, but I'm getting there, and I'm going for it. And that's what I'm going for. And in that place where, where we, we are seated, where we are feeling this stirring in our hearts to become heaven's champion, the biggest hindrance of all, you see it. I, I said to Jacqueline the other day, they're all, it, and I know I, it's, it's a hard thing to deal with, be, be, you know, but this H1N1 virus, people are talking themselves into sickness. Even here in Singapore. And I know we've got to take precautions and everything else, but, but there's places, I mean, we couldn't even get into the shopping mall at KK without them insisting we wore a mask for our protection. I'm like, hang on a minute, this is a hospital. I thought you killed bugs here, not spread them. It's like, no, for, for your own safety, you need to wear a mask. I'm like, forget it. I'm seated far above. Far above. Economic shakings. Which is, okay, when you haven't got anything. You know, you're not going to lose anything if you haven't got it. It's like, it's, we're just far above. We're, it's, just, it's just, that's where we are. But fear and insecurity and inferiority and intimidation will rob us of ever becoming heaven's champion. You see it with David on that front line. And David is somebody that God says is a man after my own heart. It's not he's after God's heart. He's already got it. His whole design, his function, his passion, his love. He, he just had raw passion. Sometimes it got him into trouble. Sometimes it didn't. But, but the guy had passion. He had love. He was, a, he, was, he was an intimate warrior. He'd go and do battle and fight giants and slay bears and tigers. But he also had that place of intimate worship with the Lord. I'm coming back to the heart of worship. Back to that place of intimacy. Back to being like John, leaning on his breast. But you know what? When there's a fight, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll go slay giants. I'll, I'll deal with that. You know, as in the days of Noah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready. I'm in training camp. I'm letting all of this stuff come out in order that I'm ready. Why? Because frankly, I'm selfish enough to want to go and do the greater works. I'm English, I'm supposed to be modest, but I'm not. I'm selfish, I want to go and do the greater works. I'm tired of watching people suffer where, where we're supposed to have the victory. I'm like, okay, well, I'll sign up. I'll become heaven's champion. Work in and through me and take out of me everything that's robbing me of becoming the person that you created me to be. And that's the invitation to every single one of us. That's who we can become. That's, that's his plan and purpose, not just for the youngsters, but for the oldies too. You know, we just got a bit more experience and can teach, still teach them a thing or two. You know? But their, their model and their demonstration and their mani the, the way God will use them will be radically different. And it is going to confront. The youth are going to seriously challenge us that are over 35. But hey, we can be heaven's champions too. So let's take a break and we'll come back in a, in a while and then we'll carry on looking at, at this whole issue of, of fear and insecurity and what God can do to create a champion who overcomes it.